All right, welcome back to part 10 of our Dark Souls 2 walkthrough. This is PG here. And Jam Jam. And we are getting ready to uh, get a little sexy. You know, I, I don't want to wear that undead shit anymore. It's uh, it's time to rock some night armor and uh, some little vagabond vanguard shit. Go I, look at that body. I know, my undead works out. <laughs> All right, so we just cleared the wharf, which uh, for most people is like a headache and a half. But uh, it really... It, it really wasn't that bad. Uh, hopefully I didn't make it look too easy, but at the same time, it, it's not as bad as most people think. You know, it's as long as you have a torch, you'll be fine. Uh, now, one of the cooler scenes. Got this bell ringing. So in Dark Souls 2, are you, is your goal to ring the bells again? Or no, ring no. More bells? No, there's... I mean, there are bell towers, but, uh, for, eh, no. Look how cool I look. And watch this. This is fucking perfect. Thank you, whoever died here. Look at that blood stain. Look how awesome that is. If you died there and you think that's your blood stain, thank you. You made this cool. And, uh, now I just own a boat. So, uh, my undead, you know, he's classy now. He owns a boat. This sounds, sounds fair. You kill the, kill the captain and get the boat. I'm I'm pretty sure that's how it works in Assassin's Creed, you know? I wouldn't know. Neither would I. I don't play those games. They're kind of ridiculous. But here... Oh, wow. Okay. Lots of blood stains. I'm not... I'm not sure how these people are dying. Um, anyway, uh, quick item location. I'm just going to show you guys here in a second. But uh, first things first, we got to get into this elevator. There are no enemies here, alright? You just got done fighting a boss. Don't worry, Dark Souls isn't that mean. Now, I'm going to show it to you going up this elevator, and then I'm going to show you how to actually get to it. There's the item. There's a giant fucking hole in the wall. So now, once we get to the top, this elevator takes a little bit, which is kind of annoying to me, but that's okay. Alright, so now we're at the top. Elevator door opens, step on it, elevator door closes, wait for the second gap, roll, bye elevator, bam, you're just chilling. Now you just stay along this wall. Now I really couldn't remember if I needed to roll into this or if I could uh, just step off into it, but you can definitely just step off. The elevator doesn't dip down much farther after you're done. Uh, you get a uh, repair powder and a scimitar from uh, from that corpse, which is uh, it's nice. If you're uh, if you're a dex build, that is a really nice little weapon. It's quick. Is it as good as it was in the uh, first Dark Souls? I would actually say it's a little bit better. Um, it it's just it moves so fluidly that it's really hard to parry it, and it's really really hard to uh, to not get hit by it. I mean, it's just, it's got a little, I think it's actually a little bit longer in this one than it was in the, uh, the first one. Huh. Which is nice, you know, they, they've changed a lot of things for a lot of weapons, but, uh, we're just gonna loot some cells right now. Um, these doors don't open. It's pretty obvious they don't open. They're broken and dirty. The last thing we need as an undead is tetanus. Best Bastille? Yeah, the Lost Bastille. All right, now we're just picking up some items, just kind of cherry picking, and uh, we're looking for our bonfire. I can't remember what cell it's in, and there we are. That wasn't too hard. I mean, it was left or right, and you're going on a straight path. It's pretty easy to find it. Time to equip our new spell, which it looks really cool, but um, weak sauce. I'm just gonna say it. Um, Fucking weak sauce. Which spell was that? Uh, it's the, uh, kind of like soul, spear, shooter, pow, pow. I don't know. You'll see it. I use it a couple times just to kind of show people what it does. And, uh, I don't know. I think my sensei failed me. Um, he got you good. Yeah, that spell sucks. But that ring he gave me is nice. I like that ring. So now it's time to level up. We got a lot of spell, or uh, a lot of souls, I should say. Is that a shard you found? Uh, it's also time to go ahead and use that shard. Um, 
I would say every time you get a shard, the next bonfire you get to, immediately go back and uh, use your shard. That way you don't forget you have them and you get like 30 of them. Uh, you never get that many, but yes. Um, the worst place to be is have a pocket full of shards and no Estus to drink. Because then you just look all kinds of silly. I think it would actually be kind of cool if you got a shard. If you died, it broke. I mean, maybe maybe that's mean. I don't know. But I, I kind of think that would be cool. I, knew you'd be I think it would make things a little bit more difficult. And it would make people appreciate the shards a little bit more. But, uh, bam, look at that. Fire sword is, uh, I think that was like plus five. Maybe it was plus six. I don't really remember. But, um, we're doing great right now. Uh, we have been alive since the last giant. God damn it. And you just won't fucking die. Um, that's rude. I, I am here to be rude. I I'm here to that. cheer everything that bad happens to you on. That's not nice. You're going to love the Pursuer, by the way. He looks badass. Like, if badass had a fucking picture next to it, it'd be the Pursuer. He's pretty much everything you could want in a cool flying kind of enemy landscape thing. Okay, good, because I was hoping you were going to say lover. Uh, why? Because I really need someone who can cook. I don't think he cooks. He kind of looks like the kind of guy that would rape you, not cook for you. I mean... Yeah, and that's a trade-off. I guess I can accept. I would never accept that. But right now, uh, I'm crushing these souls because I want to buy a lockbox. Lock uh, lockboxes are important for the next area. And I'm like 800 short. I could have sworn it was only three grand. I'm pretty sure she raised her prices once she realized how well I was doing in the game. She's kind of mean. But, uh, alright, now we got enough souls for it. We're gonna go ahead and buy it. She actually sells a lot of random stuff. Thank you. But, uh, alright, so we got that. Now it's time to, uh, just kind of head towards the next boss. I, you know, no big deal. I mean, we literally just fought one, but, you know, no big deal. Now... I really didn't want to waste spells on this guy, and if you'll notice, the last time we were here, it took like two or three swings to kill one of those guys. I can almost one-shot them now. So, uh, he was so impressed that he gave me a pat on the back. That's always nice, dude. That's all, that's all you want. Yeah. Someone reassuring you. Now, I have no idea why my downward attack doesn't actually poke people, so uh, I resort to the jumping attack again. Which is fine. You know, he, he gives me his pants because he was impressed. It's time to go get a little item, though. I kind of need them. Um, for anyone that didn't know, the door to the king was there on the left. Uh, well, the door of the king, I guess. I'll show that to you guys real quick after I pick this item up. Uh, I get the, uh, the little life ring here. And uh, it restores your health gradually. Now, don't go crazy thinking this restores like 20 HP a second. I think it's more like 2 HP a second. But it's still nice to have, especially when you're just kind of meandering about. Now, that's the that's the door. Produce symbol of the king. We obviously aren't far enough in the game for that yet, so uh, we're just going to walk away. And uh, I actually forgot about this part, but uh, it's time for us to go fight with some turtle knights. I, I need to get to this next bonfire. It is important for later gameplay. So uh, it's time to fight some uh, some turtle knights. Um, they are still pretty clumsy and garbage. I mean, they don't do very well. Teenage. Those teenage mutant ninja turtles. Turtles in a half shell. No. Yeah. Look at him. I mean, maybe if he had a katana, that'd be badass. And like a little, like a little ninja mask. But no, he's just a big clumsy piece of crap, and he dies. You know, that's the last thing he needs before he dies. Is someone making fun of him? Uh, he knows what he looks like. Okay, maybe I actually no, maybe he doesn't. I haven't seen mirrors in this game ever. 
What do you mean I look like a big fucking turtle? Isn't there a boss that's just made of mirrors? The Mirror Knight. Uh, yes. So but, uh, you can't really see into the mirror. The mirror is more of just there because it unleashes an NPC to, uh, to try to murder face you. Huh. That's weird. Uh, which is easy enough to deal with. I mean... If uh, if you want, you can just kind of sit there and beat the shit out of the mirror, and I think you can actually break it before he lets the NPC out. Uh, I really haven't tested it, just because it's so easy to beat him. Um, is it just like a weird version of you, or is it like a... Uh, the, the NPC he unleashes, um, if I remember correctly, he's just a warrior. Uh, he has like a great shield, and uh, he just kind of runs after you. So you just kind of lure him away from the boss kill him, stun him, backstab him, and he'll he'll probably die. Uh, for a mage, though, I really... I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that. Uh, maybe use strong spells against him and then continually shoot weak spells at the boss? I'm not sure. We'll get to that when we get to that. I don't want to ruin that for you. Okay, that's fair. Uh, now, in this area, they really want you to be like, oh no, I'm going to die. Um... But we have silly little mage powers, so fuck that. We're just gonna we're just gonna shoot this big turtle in his big dumb back. Now they got the little archer over there trying to shoot at me. That's fine. He's just doing his job, doing archery things. Now we got one turtle coming up. He wants to fight. And again, using character, uh, using uh, enemy limitations is really important. I mean. I know a lot of people are like, oh, just run in there and uh, mix it up. You're the reason why there's blood stains everywhere. Just go straight up fisticuffs with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And take all your armor off, too. Ah, I'm gonna get you! No, oh. he, he got tired. Oh, man. Oh, man. Boom. Now, you can actually get their armor set. Uh, I believe here it's called Old Ironclad, and then... Uh, Later in game, it's uh, you fight some more of them, and it's just ironclad. Uh, it's actually nicer, shinier version of turtle armor. Um, I'm actually a fan of the older looking armor. It uh, it just kind of looks nicer to me. Now I did see that item over there, but as I've told you guys before, clear an area before you start, you know, picking things up, because you don't know what is and isn't a trap. So I'm gonna come up here and uh, kind of survey the area get this little chest right here now I see that turtle knight walking over there so I know for a fact that it's time to uh, to play the waiting game waiting game waiting game gonna play a game that involves a lot of waiting stop that he's already here and we play the waiting game you see how easy it is I'm to avoid like, all of their attacks so <laughs> easy to avoid as <laughs> <laughs> I think I've been hit by one of these guys once, and uh, it was because I was stuck on boxes, and he hit my shield and didn't do anything afterwards. He was like, I got you. Tag it. Yeah. And then I shot him in the mouth with a spell, I believe. All right, so we got our item. We avoided that little trap, and uh, now it's time to finish up this little area. Um, There's like two or three hollows in here. Not something to worry about. Lure one of them out. Give him a little poke. And I was like, well, fuck it. I'll just be a mage. Mage. I don't know if you, like, toward, like, in a later part of this walkthrough, you're going to just forget you're a mage. I would love to do that because I hate mages. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, I've done a awesome job at being a warrior with this character despite the difficulties of overcoming the weak, weak mage blood that he has in his veins. Oh, come on, he's not that weak. He's got a badass fire sword. That That is what makes him a cool warrior. You know, I, I have to remind myself constantly while I'm playing that I'm a mage and that I need to use mage stuff. Uh, getting hit with that combo, um, I'm like... 90% sure that combo is supposed to kill you if you get hit by all of it. Especially at this low of a level or like this early in game. 
Um, most people that run through this area do the whole area all at once. They don't do what I've done and warp back and forth. Um, the reason why I'm warping back and forth between areas is because it makes the game a lot easier, you know? Don't go, you know, easy part to the level, hard part to the level. No, you know, go easy, go to another area that's kind of easy, work your way up. Don't sit there and just try to, you know, take on the hardest parts of the game because you can at that point. If you're trying to make it through the game with the least amount of deaths possible, I feel like I've taken a pretty decent route and uh, shown some people the easier way to go through Dark Souls 2. If you want to be a dickhead and you want to, you know, just go through hard as fuck, maybe that's the route we'll take on your playthrough there, Jam Jam. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I know you're looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. Um, I decided, fuck it, I'll just rest here and then warp back to the other area. I, I really didn't want to walk. I don't like walking. Walking? So, if walking you can teleport, peasants. yeah. I mean, if you can teleport, why walk? Fuck that peasantry. Fucking plebeian. Plebeian? Plebeian? What? What's that word? Peasant? No, pleb... Yeah, fuck it. Plesiosaurus. Neoplorodon. What? What is that? It's a big-ass dinosaur fish. It's got a little, like, flippers and the I thought line. that's what a Plesiosaurus it's... was. How is this important? We're it's not snap. talking about dinosaurs anymore. Except Raptor Jesus. Raptor Jesus! Praise Raptor Jesus! So, uh, I kill this guy mainly just because I don't want people to sneak up behind me. I'm paranoid. That That's is, cool. That is the most, like, lazy, like, lazy sneak ever. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk over there. I had time to dance while this guy was trying to attack me, and then I bitch slapped him with my catalyst. <laughs> and bitch. Um, oh yeah, I figured out how to attack while people are on the ground. Uh, it's, it's an angle. I fucked that up horribly, and I was like, man, why couldn't I hit people while they were on the ground? And uh, it was about the distance I was at, so figured that out. Hopefully that doesn't bother me later. And uh, now we're getting ready to head towards the Pursuer. Yeah! Oh, the Pursuer. I would say the Pursuer is going to suck to fight him as a mage. Um, mainly because he's quick, and he is a warrior build, so... Uh, He's everything you don't want as a mage. So, uh, hopefully this doesn't go horribly, horribly awry. These guys suck. I don't, I don't even know why they tried. And there's, there's no participation award in Dark Souls, so, uh, they just kind of wasted their time, if you ask me. Now, we have the little key, soldier's key, using it to get around. It's super helpful. Uh, here comes uh, here comes the next cool kid. Uh, I know there's another guy up there, so I made sure to lure him to me. There's our secondary. Here he comes. Hurry up and dead. He's just he really didn't that have didn't, a chance. Didn't really. It was not a fair fight. Um, Dark Souls. That's my argument. That's a fair argument. All right, so up here, um, I see a shitload of signs, and I can't help but feel like one of them might be Pate or the uh, the other female warrior. Uh, there's even lesser signs up here, which is weird to me. I don't know why they would even be here, but um, let's grab some items. Uh, a sign appears over there, and I was I swear I I thought that was gonna be Pate, and it wasn't. So if you see your sign, you know. Feel free to, you know, realize that you're an asshole and uh, you trolled me. Oh. Just because you want to piss the little Pete? I, even though Pete is totally useless, it's just fun to summon an NPC and watch him get the shit beat out of him. But now, let's watch as the pursuer comes in. He was flown in by a giant fucking falcon. Oh, man. Oh, God, he's like goddamn Cyclops. How dare you compare something cool with fucking Cyclops, the worst X-Men ever. He hovers. What did he need the eagle for? Fast travel? 
Holy shit. Alright, so we're gonna fight him as a mage, because fuck it, we're a mage. Oh my god. Alright, so that attack right there, although super fucking deadly, is actually one of the easier ones to dodge. But, uh, let's just keep fighting him. Oh no. Alright, so he stunned me already. So obviously my stamina isn't what it should be for this fight. But that's okay. We're a mage. We don't have stamina stuff. He slapped the shit out of me with his shield just there. He's about to make you his bitch. If you'll notice, look at him. He floats off of the fucking level and comes back and bitch slaps me. I can't even be mad about it. If I could fly, I would fly out of range and just bitch slap people too. Now that heal was worth it. If you notice, my health bar is, well, oh. was a lot better off after healing. Now he is an aggressive fighter. He is gonna constantly be attacking you. So the best way to avoid all of the things he does is to just kind of stick in close where you can avoid him. As a mage, you don't have that option because you have to get away to shoot your spells. Shooting your spells point blank runs the risk of totally losing. So now, no spoilers here, but you can tell the video is almost up. So we'll figure out how to beat the pursuer next time. Yes! Oh, you're not dead yet. And dead. There we go. Yes! See you guys.